let's simplify Peter Norvig's beautiful solution to part two of day six of Advent of Code 2020. If you can look at this and understand it without a lot of thought, stop the video now and go do something else that's a better use of your time. I'm going to explain this for people who maybe don't get it right away. We're calling sum on this generator expression here. And I'm going to break this apart by making a loop. And I want to show you that a group is a list of strings. Groups is a list of list of strings. So the first group is this ABC. It's a, there's a single person in this group. The other groups are more interesting because they have multiple people. All right. Um, what's happening here? We're calling map with set and group. So for each element in group, we're creating a set from it. So let me copy this and I'll explain the asterisk a little bit later. And I'm going to put this in a variable and then print that variable. And notice when I run, we just get these five map objects corresponding to these five groups here. Well, that's not very useful. However, if we turn those into lists, then we can see what's going on. Okay, let me add a type hint for that. That's a list of sets. I also want to print the group to make it easier to, to see uh, what's happening. Whoops, sorry. Okay, for ABC, for this first group, which is a single person, ABC, who chose ABC, we end up with um, one set containing the letters A, B, and C, not in that order. And then for the next group, which has three people involved, there's this list of strings A and B and C, so that maps into... Uh, a list of three sets containing each of the letters separately. And for this one, the A, B, A, C, we end up with a set for each string in this list of strings. Here's the first set, and it's got the A and the B from here. And the second set has the A and the C from here. We want to find the intersection, so let's do this. We're going to find the intersection of the group of sets. And we'll print that as well. Now, this isn't going to work. I'll show you why in a second. Okay, when I run this, um, you can't give a list to set that intersection. It expects to have multiple parameters. We have to give multiple arguments here. Group sets is a list of sets. We need to give individual sets. We need to break this list of sets into individual arguments to this, to this set intersection function. That's where the splat comes in, the asterisk. This makes it as if we had individually provided the, the sets that are in group sets. Now when we run, we can see something different. So um, for the first person who chose yes to A, B, and C, we have the, the group, and then we have the set with A, B, and C. And if you do an intersection of just one set, you get the set back. Now, for the next one, here, A, B, and C, we end up with three separate sets, A and B and C, 
And when you take the intersection of those three sets, they have nothing in common. So you get an empty set. Next one, A and B and A and C, I have a feeling when they intersect, we're going to get an A. Because the intersection of these two sets, A and B, and A and C, is A. And then the last one, A, 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 the intersection of A with A with A with A is A. And then the last one, a single B, gives us B. Okay, so what's left to do? We have to find the, uh, the sum of the number of letters that everyone got. So we need not so much the intersection, but the length of the intersection. So we'll call this num all got. Set that equal to the length of the intersection. Let me add some more uh, type hints here. So that's a set. Um, and then this is an int. Okay, so now we'll add num all got to what we're printing here and we'll run. And now we have a three, a zero, a one, a one, a one. And the problem says that the, in part two, for the sample data, they're supposed to sum to six. So three, four, five, six. So they sum to six. Let's just add that. Uh, sum, num, all, got. And then here, sum, num, all, got, plus, equal, num, all, got. Outside the loop, we'll print sum num all got. We should see a six. And there we go. Um, okay, so for every group, we took the elements of the group, turned them into a set. We found the intersection of those sets. We found how many uh, answers were in the intersection. And then we summed all those. Peter Norvig has some amazing solutions. I'm learning so much uh, from studying them, but it takes me a little bit of work to understand things like this. See you next time.